let me turn to Mrs. Uh, Rukmani Verma. Uh, Mrs. Verma, let me take, back, take you back to your early years in your grandmother's house, the Travancore Maharani Seto Lakshmi Bai's house. It must have been a fairy tale then. Uh, you must have been, uh, there must have been an enchanting aura around you. Uh, there must be having a lot of ceremony and pomp around you. You being the royal princess, the first grandchild, the first granddaughter, the eldest grandchild of the Maharani, and obviously the favorite. And there in your childhood, uh, in that royal environment, must have been where you were first exposed to your great great grandfather, Raja Ravi Varma. Let me ask you what were your earliest memories of that house and of a father or of a forefather called Raja Ravi Varma and of his paintings as a child? What is it that appealed to you uh, about Raja Ravi Varma and those paintings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a wonderful question because it goes back to a, a wonderful memories that I have with my grandmother and all of us in the palace. Uh, I, by the way, I'd rather be known as an artist than anything else because right from childhood, I was able to uh, contact with the, with the beautiful works of art that my grandmother had. And uh, I used to spend hours looking at those beautiful uh, paintings that she had and I was I had this great urge to paint myself and of course Raja Devi Varma was a subject uh, we always spoke about and uh, my grandmother and I had a lot of conversations about him about his uh, various uh, achievements and how he was in his own studio my grandmother knew a lot about it because um, actually she was his favorite grandchild and uh, they had a lot of uh, uh, you know, wonderful moments in her childhood when he used to come to visit her with a little present. And she remembers all of that. So there was this, always there was this aura of painting and uh, my grandfather at the back of it all. So uh, this was something that just, just was built in me from a, the, a very, very young age. And almost even before I started to write, I started to paint with the watercolor uh, boxes that were available. So, but you see the traditional, uh, the background did not allow me to go to an art school as such, which I wanted very much. Uh, so I had to pick up everything on my own and uh, you know, start painting on my own, uh, whatever I could, uh, uh, you know, by uh, trial and error, so to speak. Of course, I uh, looked at a lot of uh, books on painting and all of that. And so I started to build up a little by little. And uh, then, of course, it just grew into me. It became a great passion. I couldn't live without painting. It came to a stage where it was like breathing, more important than breathing, actually. So. Uh, then, of course, we went to our education, college, school, all, the, all of it. But in between, always managed to uh, find time to paint. So my memory, my, uh, the, my whole, let me say, my whole uh, uh, creative uh, psyche in me is actually uh, based upon my great-great-grandfather's works. So uh, that is, that is the, the way I've always been, looked up to him as a great uh, person who uh, uh, was able to express something in such wonderful ways, uh, so, which was not done in those days. He was the very first person to uh, uh, paint in realistic uh, style. And his style also had a very specific, uh, 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 you know, it was a specific niche where, which was not occupied by anybody else. He was a very intuitive man, very intuitive. And when he painted a portrait, he was able to intuitively go deep into the subject and get his character. So he brought out the characteristics beautifully in his paintings because of this intuitive ability that he had. And uh, that is because that the place where he comes from, his family in Kilimanjur, is a highly talented family. And they all have this 
enormous talent. They've all, all been grown up uh, with either painting or music. And uh, therefore, it was only natural that Devi Varma also imbued the same ambience from there. And he was able to uh, quick uh, connect with this form of expression. So this is the, the, the basis of how he was able to bring out the beauty of, of uh, the subjects he painted because of his deep intuition and how he was able to go into a subject and find out the characteristic, translate it through paints onto the canvas.